In Drupal 7, you can query the database in two ways, using a static query or a dynamic query. A static query is the simplest of the two. All you need to do is pass a query and arguments using the DB query function. Most of your queries should be a static query because they are the fastest and the simplest. Dynamic queries, on the other hand, allow other modules to modify a query by implementing the hook query alter hook. But beware, dynamic queries are slower than static queries. Writing and debugging a dynamic query can be tough because you can't see the generated SQL string. Using the Devel module, you could turn on the display query log setting, but then you'll be bombarded with a lot of queries to sort through. The easiest way to view the generated SQL string is to use the dpq function that comes with Devel. Simply pass the query object through to the dpq function and the SQL string will be displayed in the message region. However, the function only works for dynamic queries that use the dbSelect function. Let me now demonstrate how to use the dpq function. Here, I have a basic module with a single menu item and a callback function. If I go to www-example, it will simply display whatever is returned in this function. Let's paste in a simple dynamic query. All it does is query all nodes, which are articles. And then here, we pass the query object to the dpq function. Now if we refresh the page, we should see the SQL string in the message area. You can use the SQL string to query the database directly. The only thing we need to do is remove these curly brackets. They are added by Drupal's database abstraction layer. Let's do that right now. I'll copy the query and open SQL Pro, which is a open source MySQL database manager. If you use a Mac, I highly recommend this application. Click on query and paste in the SQL string. Don't forget to remove the curly brackets and then click on run current. We can see our query results in the table below. If you don't want to use Devel to print the SQL string, just print the toString method on the query object. You can use the printr or Drupal's debug function. Now let's use the toString method. We'll add it below the dpq function so we can see both of them at the same time. Refresh the page and now we can see two SQL strings. The first one is printed by dpq and the second is printed by the toString method. The biggest difference between the two is that the dpq function prints actual placeholder variables. In this example, it's article. Whereas the toString method just prints db condition placeholder and that's it. This makes it very difficult to copy the SQL string into phpMyAdmin or SQL Pro.